Jersey City resident Anand Jagadeesan walks us through his Airbnb rental that sits above his family home. What would you charge for a night here? Um, usually varies between, I would say like from $75 goes on up to 130. With its location and large layout, he makes upwards of $35,000 in a good year and says he relies on that supplemental income for his family. I have a son who is in school that I, I fund entirely and then my second son who is having a disability and then we take care of him by providing him many of the therapies and, and, and additional um, uh, activities that are not necessarily covered by the insurance. So much so that last March, Jagadeesan bought a second property to rent, several blocks from his home, except an ordinance put in place last summer caps short-term rentals at 60 days if the owner doesn't live on site. That's one reason hosts and Airbnb adamantly oppose a ballot question keeping that rule and several others in place. If you are a renter, you cannot rent your apartment on on Airbnb, on any short-term rental platform. That's 70 percent of Jersey City residents who are cut out from this economy. And then on top of that, you can't have a short-term rental in any building with more than four units. Municipal question one is a ban on short-term rentals. There's no doubt about it. The barrage of commercials, online ads, and mailers are inescapable in the city. Millions of dollars spent and residents divided. Those opposed to the ordinance petitioned more than 20,000 signatures to let voters decide this November. Neighbors in favor of regulations lay out a litany of problems it's caused neighborhoods. There were about 300 listings on any given night here in Jersey City and we thought that was a reasonable number and uh, it was done in the truest sense of what home sharing is where people were sharing their second bedroom or a vacant apartment in their homes. Um, now that number has grown in four years to more than 3,000 listings on any given night. We have friends who had to leave their apartment with their pets and the whole floor of their beautiful building had to leave for two days because the whole place had to be fumigated when there were bed bugs in the Airbnb apartment that had repeated visitors. So apparently they had repeatedly rented to people with bed bugs. Now that's an extreme, but what that says is there needs to be some kind of regulation. At a recent press conference, Jersey City public safety officials detailed numerous calls involving Airbnb properties. Uh, recently we had a, another gas leak up in uh, the Heights section of the city where the owner illegally altered an apartment and made it into three separate apartments and was doing it all on the Airbnb. Uh, had we responded there just as a normal single family home, you expect to find you know three or four people, one mailbox, you go in there. Now we have a maze. It's There's no... Uh, means of egress. We run background checks on every guest, on every host. We provide 24-7 customer service. Incidents are extraordinarily rare. It's less than 0.01% of the time. It's actually even more or less. There's a couple of zeros in there that I'm missing. But this is, safety is one of our top priorities. Hosts like Jagadeesan say the rules could cost him his life savings poured into his second property. The future of short-term rentals here could help decide how it plays out elsewhere in the country. It all comes down to a vote, either yes or no. In Jersey City Heights, Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.